Morning everybody, Jason, Pete, Hollis Farms. We have made it down to Mississippi. First thing I have got to do, I hooked up to a little trailer that's at the barn. Oh, uh, I hope it's wide enough, but anyway. Oh, uh, I left the ranger up here yesterday or whenever it was when we got the bulldozer. So I'm gonna run up here with this little trailer, throw the ranger on it, and get it back to the barn. There's some things what you some things you gotta do when you buy yourself. No big deal. I just hope this trailer's wide enough. I, one of my dad's trailers, I don't ever I don't know if I've ever hooked to it. Had never hauled a ranger on it, but when we get up here we're gonna see it. She's uh wide enough. Tell y'all a quick little story about these pines right here. Oh, uh, I guess they five, six years old now. I remember before we clear cut them. Them turkeys got to roosting in these things. And boy, we had some fun hunting. But the, uh, the, what was so bad about that clear cut, and I'll turn you all around. Oh, those trees were planted before we got this piece of property. And I had rode mules and horses out there back when they was real tall and it was just briars and stuff, kind of deer hunting and scouting. I can really, I remember jumping a monster out there one time and I really wasn't wasn't seriously hunting but I had a gun with me but I wasn't ready but anyway y'all y'all seen me be so picky about how how the timbers workers the, the loggers do and wet dry and all that stuff but that spot right here and it's a pretty big spot I mean I've been riding a minute and I'm still riding by them it's not real wide but it's real long but I can remember being on my mule and it's like you just fell off down in a hole. And what it was, the last time they had logged that thing, it must have been wet. There were skitter ruts in there. They is nearly waist deep. And it's just not good on the trees. The quality of the trees that we cut out wasn't as good as they could have been. So that's one reason I'm so picky and I just can't stand all them ruts. But. So we don't, uh, we ain't gonna hardly let them log when it's muddy like that. I mean, it was bad. It took lots and lots of dozer work and site prepping to get it back right. It's right now. It got ripped and bedded after it was, it was just a mess. And we don't ever want that to happen again because the trees just don't go right, grow right. They get stressed out and the ground's all, it just, just ain't right and it just, just, there's no need in it. So I just thought about that a minute ago. I remember riding my mule in there and I thought I had fell off. I thought I was gone. Just, you know, the grass and briars and I was real tall and you just whoop, fell right off in it. It was a mess. Anyway, let's see if we can get this ranger. I ain't sure this ranger gonna fit on this trailer or not. We're gonna have to try it and see though. It's tight. She's on there. We'll get her back to the barn now. All right. Got the ranger back here. Like I said, it's tight. But it worked perfect. Didn't have to hook to the big trailer. Oh, Pete likes to ride. Watch him jump on that ranger. I gotta pee on it first. Huh. Oh, Pete's a good one. You gonna ride? Hey, get on there. Alright, me and Pete back on 5101 for a little while. Let's start working on some of these main roads. The ones that got tall. We cut these once this year. My back glass is nasty. I ain't gonna wash it because it's so so uh, dusty on these gravel roads. Wouldn't do no good anyway. This 
the dusty on that gravel road a while ago. I can't even see back there now. I got dry. Alright, so I've already cut these roads right here. I'm going to run down here real quick. Oh, my dad come down and got the dozer yesterday after I got done with it and brought it down here. We got to do some work. I'll show y'all when we get down here where and why we're fixing to do what we're going to do. Alright, so we're fixing to move a logging crew. Hopefully, if the rain don't start back in here, we got a bunch of thinning we got to do. I hate cutting timber during deer season, but it was such a wet winter and all, we kind of got a late start, so we just, to keep up, we got to do what we got to do. And uh, the way we usually access this over here, see you done been pushing a little bit yesterday evening, my daddy loves that bulldozer. Oh, uh, the, uh, where was that, oh yeah. The way we access over here, there's a creek right here. The way we access this now is uh, across the bridge where y'all, we crossed the other day and bush hogged and all. But the way the loggers are going to have to access this is right here. And uh, there's an old bridge right over there and it was only used years ago for four wheeler crossing. I need to work on that thing one day, but I really don't have a need for it since we put the uh, the other bridge in. But it looks like he made a pretty good stab at it yesterday. The culvert pipes are still there that used to be there. Of course, in time, after we do this, it's going to wash again. This thing gets out bad, but I think if it gets to where he can cross it and get some more dirt from that way, we've logged out this way before. It's not too bad. We just can't stand much rain over here to work here but I think it's gonna work out good but that's another project I don't know if I'll get in on this project or not I got plenty to do and oh uh, I may have to do I don't know we may have to haul a little dirt I may have to haul a little dirt or do some dozer work or backhoe work or something but whatever this is why we got the dozer over here now because we got to make us a make us a crossing where these log trucks can cross right here Alright y'all, back over to Speed Shop. We're fixing to get back on this modified. We are... This is a 604 crate motor. It's fixing to come out. And it is on... The full bar suspension, which means it's got... Four bars, top bars on both sides and a pull bar. We didn't think that they were going to be too many in the class running around local, this new class. But there are, so we're going to swap it back over to 3-link. We're going to end up locking these bird cages. They float, taking the, both these bars off, take the pull bar off, and it's a longer bar that goes on the bottom. Different pull bar goes on top. It's got to be a different engine up front. So we're converting her again. When, uh, when GRT built this car, old Joe, before he died, he designed this thing to where you can do just about anything you want to do with this one rear end. I got to take these brackets off that hold this bar and uh, put another bracket. My spring will actually sit right on top of the housing. It's kind of going to take some thinking and remembering to get it all back to together but we got still got all the pieces. Like I said when they uh we had it right last year when we won in it but we didn't think there's gonna be many of them. And uh we was gonna put it to four bar and run some INCA stuff if we wanted to travel but we're starting to run them around here so much more now. We don't want to travel if too far if we ain't got to, and we can still travel it open and tight and run it as a B mod. 
Ooh, that didn't have tight, did it? I'm not to bust a knuckle with that. Just on top. Pretty good That's idea. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, y'all. The easy part is done. Now we have got. When we get done, this is gonna be locked up. Gonna be a spring perch on top. We just gotta remember how Joe did all this. He's up there laughing at us right now because we can't figure out how to do it. But we'll get it. Alright y'all, so here's what I did and I may decide to do. This thing is like a jigsaw puzzle. I don't we didn't pay much attention when we took it apart. May not and it's a lot of weight there that we don't need with that bird cage. I may just order me some clamp on three link brackets and just like we run on the street stock and put them on and make this process a lot simpler and lighter too. Even though we gotta add weight, I'd rather not. Alright y'all, I went on and battled through it. Got the left side on, all I gotta do is stick the hub back on. Whew, that was a project. Getting all them parts and pieces put back together. Spring will go on top. Gotta put our drive bar on, then we'll work on the right side. Get this baby ready for long. All right, y'all, we had a pretty good day today. Got down there this morning, got the Ranger loaded up, got it back to the barn, a little bush hogging. Checked on the new crossing that we're working on for the loggers. Checked on the loggers, and they're doing pretty good. Had a pretty good afternoon on the GRT open wheel modified. I'm about ready to get back in that thing. So anyway, when we get it back on that three link deal, that'll be uh, my first cars, my open wheels I ever had was lease spring cars, but then we went to the three link stuff, stayed on that for a long time. And then we ended up on four bar stuff, pretty open motor stuff before we uh, got done. But what we'll be running, it's basically the same rules as the street stock, the Durant's Lane, or whatever you want to call it. Street stock, crate racing USA, whatever they call it. Uh, 
same motor rules. You can either run the 602 crate motor with a full barrel or the open motor with a two barrel. Open motor with a two barrel, you gotta add 200 pounds. And gotta be on three link, which is just two bars on the bottom, and then you got a pull bar on top, and then a J bar. The J bar keeps it your rear end left side to side. I'll try to show you all a little more of that. The, the pull bar's got to be solid, uh, a solid rod. Most of your pull bars these days have a rubber biscuit in that. I, I got both, but in this class we can just run the solid. I try to go over a lot of that stuff as we're putting it back together and uh, show you all a little more of what we're talking about. Anyway, I'm almost to the house and fixing the call of the day. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.